Manchester City were eight points behind Arsenal in early April. Now they ended up winning the title by five points. They enjoyed such a phenomenal end to the campaign. Well, the Gunners simply ran out of steam as fatigue and injuries took their toll. But they're back in the Champions League, they've bolstered the squad and they're ready to take on City and the rest once again. And they've got the likes of their record signing, Declan Rice, to help them. Mill that to close the gap. So we're good to go with the Gunners to kick off in their traditional red and white. The referee is Stuart Atwell, who was last here for Manchester City's FA Cup semi-final win over Sheffield United last season. So, the lock and underway, the top two from last season's Premier League going head-to-head. -head. What better way to kick off the new campaign. And yet, even though the Gunners ran City close, the fact is that City have won each of the last eight meetings with Arsenal. And you can see straight away, City keen to make a fast start here. Mikel Arteta has only once tasted victory as Arsenal boss against his former employers, and that was here at Wembley in the 2020 FA Cup semi-final. Since then, Pep Guardiola has had it all his own way. Will that continue here this afternoon? Well, that has been given as a foul. Gabriel not happy, neither of the Arsenal fans. Well, he's trying to get tight to Alvarez, who's playing as the second centre forward for Man City. Gabriel, who made a big mistake against Manchester United in a pre-season friendly. Jadon Sancho went on to score, but he's got a very good partnership with Saliba. That's the time to make those kind of mistakes, isn't it? Rather than uh, next week when they get underway for real. Stefan Ortega in goal for City, the German keeper played 14 times last season. City determined to play out from the back, and have successfully done so. And in possession, it so often looks like they're playing three at the back, doesn't it? Such as the fluidity of the way City play. Ortega again under a little bit of pressure. Just missed out on the title, still stings. But uh, he rightly said they've gone from eighth to fifth to second, it's still a huge achievement. Big blow that Jesus has become injured for Arsenal. Havertz was definitely going to play in central midfield alongside Erdegaard and Rice. Now Jesus not been injured. Now he's playing as the centre forward. That is just a minor procedure he's had on his knee. He'll only be missing for a few weeks, said uh, Mikel Arteta. There's a full kick to City. And it should be a yellow card. And that's a cynical foul. Pre-season game, Community Shield game. That should be a yellow card for Odegaard. Kanji was running away from him. I think that's poor referee. Just a ticking off early on from Stuart Atwell. John Stones. Now Diaz for Manchester City. Arsenal choosing their moments when to press here. Very wise. 
Odegaard is the player that's trying to press with Havertz. At the moment, John Stones is playing as a normal centre-back, rather than the one we saw at the end of last season, where he almost played as a midfield player. And here he is with a back pass to Ortega. City start their quest for a fourth consecutive Premier League title in five days' time, away to newly promoted Burnley. A trophy they've listed uh, five times in the last six seasons. Who can stop them? Familiar sort of ball we've seen from Rodri so many times. Akanji advancing down that left side. Oh, there was a great ball in as well. Haaland was waiting. Grealish waiting on the far post there. Hooked away by Bukaya Saka. In a early joy down that left side for City. And a poor play by Ben White, the Arsenal right back. He got sucked in field. It was obvious where the ball was going to be played. A brilliant set up play by Man City. Here's Bernardo Silva. Now Walker, and City captain. Bernardo Silva once again. Notch back by Alvarez to Stones. Here's the World Cup winner, Alvarez again. Haaland's with a touch. Swept away by Gabriel. Good pressure from Manchester City. And they're doing well at just poking balls into midfield and then play the next ball round the corner. That's not quite sure how to press at the moment. British. Now Ruben Diaz. Timber is bootless at the moment. Certainly on one foot. Arsenal asking for the ball to be kicked out of play. Dutch international signed from Ajax last month. He's already lost his boot. Ball coming into the box. Oh, it's a good defensive header. And ben White. couldn't quite get there, maybe should have done a little bit better. He's the man that got the clearance in. Alvarez uh, making his 50th Manchester City appearance here today. Scored in the Community Shield against Liverpool last season. One of 17 goals he netted in his debut season for City. Chance for Arsenal to enjoy a little bit of possession, perhaps. No, they've given it away. It was a flip from Martinelli that was seized upon. Another lead to a free kick to City. Thomas Partey penalised here. And the card is coming out from the referee. Well, there was a cynical foul earlier on that should have had a yellow card. And Partey just puts his arm across Alvarez there. So Alvarez should really stop. It's the fact that he kicked the ball away, that's what the referee didn't like. Oh. Oh. The referee's changed his mind and given the throw in uh, the way of Arsenal. That's what Mikel Arteta was extremely animated about. Martinelli. 
Walker stopping the cross coming in. Beckham Rice goes back to Gabriel. Much better this from the Gunners. Saka advancing down that right side as he does so often. And the decision is goal kick. Akanji did well in the end. Well, that's going to be a key battle. Saka, certainly Arsenal's danger man. Kanji getting, getting back at him. Just had the beat of, of him of, for pace there. Kanji eventually got back. The centre back ends the left back today. It's going to be a difficult task for him. And a good signing, hasn't he, Kanji? Fifteen million pounds from Dortmund a year ago. Swiss international. Started the game well, both uh, in defence and attack. It's an Arsenal side who've lost just two of their last 15 games here at Wembley. None since February 2018. Great record here at the home of football. Bernardo Silva. Carl Walker. Stones. Wide it goes by Diaz to Mukanji. Just watching. Erling Haaland is threatening to make runs in behind as soon as somebody gets time on the ball. Saliba is going with him. And then stepping up to play him offside. Hardly touched the ball so far. The Norwegian international. Rodri. Walker lets it run to Bernardo Silva. Walker, that's not what he had in mind. That's turned into quite a good clearance from Odegaard. Good play from Martinelli. Well intercepted by Jack Grealish. Arsenal haven't really got going so far. A lot of possession for Manchester City. Martinelli's given the ball away a couple of times. They're just trying to slow the game down here and dominate possession. The Premier League champions, the Champions League champions. Bernardo Silva tried to find Haaland. He's uh, swept away. Very confidently in the end by Partey. And Pep Guardiola has made quite a big point of the fact that uh, they're two weeks behind Arsenal in terms of where they finish the season and where their pre-season is. You used the word undercooked a little earlier. Of course, they've got uh, the the Super Cup coming up as well in Athens against Sevilla on the 16th. Another extra game. Success breeds extra games. But it's been a very confident start from City. Rodri. Seeking out Grealish. Well covered by Saliba, but uh, Haaland will keep it going. And uh, Rodri will let fly. Got a nip on his way through for a corner. Good play again by City, winning the ball back. Rodri actually strikes Declan Rice. That's why it's a corner. Nice getting some sort of blocking. 
Though Ramsdale was beaten, had that been on target. And he scored the second half winner in the Champions League final in Istanbul against Inter, one of four goals last season. First corner of the match goes City's way. And walloped away by Saliba. That's the head of uh, Timber this time. Bernardo Silva is John Stones. Rodri. Stuck by White. Just can't get hold of it at the moment. Arsenal. Quarter of an hour played here at Wembley. Kovacic lays it off and uh, Rodri advances, now Akanji. Grealish. Stones. I have to say, City are making possession football look very easy at the moment. Always got that pass back to the centre halves and pop it into midfield. And then try and play a ball around the corner. If it's not on, they go back. Start again. It's not very forceful at the moment from City. They're certainly dominating the play. There's Bernardo Silva. Walker. Stones. Oh, a tackle with some kind of habits to win it back for Arsenal. And then he has been pulled back. Free kick to the Gunners. Arsenal fans want a yellow card here. And it could easily have been a yellow card for Rodri. Tug of the shirt. He's got away with that one. Oh, and Kai Havertz. I think Stuart Atwell is just going to have a word with... Mikel Arteta by the looks of it. Not to say the discipline of Mikel Arteta last season, where he stood in the dugout, wasn't good enough, and he gets a yellow card. But we know they're clamping down on a lot of this descent from the technical area this season. And there's an early warning for Arteta, who is demanding a yellow card. He's got one himself. That's a clever ball, isn't it? And an eventual shot, something of a disappointment from Alvarez. Kovacic has had a good start to the game here. Maybe given the ball away, but maybe got himself turned. Well, we talked about clamping down, and uh, Howard Webb very much at the forefront of that, in charge of the referees in England now. No surrounding the referee, the yellow and red cards could be produced. Only one member of the management team in the front of the technical area at any time. Lots of little changes which could add up to making a big difference. It's another foul, another free kick to Arsenal. He 
It's a mismatch in the air. Bernardo Silva not really going for the ball. Declan Rice falls awkwardly. It's a foul. Nothing more. Partey dispossessed. And this is Grealish. Stones. City certainly looking for a little bit more incision and controlling the game, dominating the ball. And so far, it's been a comfortable first half for Ramsdale. The Kanji. And he slung that in towards uh, Bernardo Silva. Martinelli back here helping out. Passes from Gabriel, forced Ramsdale to scamper a little bit. Havertz done supremely well in that centre forward position. Martinelli. A little touch from Timber didn't quite come off as he'd hoped. Look where he's playing to get involved in the game. Ruben Diaz to Stones. Two holding midfield players for Man City. Keep coming back and play, receiving those little short passes. Tante and Declan Rice aren't quite sure whether to go in with them. There is again, they've got an easy pass back to Stones. Stones going for the big diagonal towards Erling Haaland. It's a fabulous first touch. Couldn't get the shot away though. Excellent defending in the end from Saliba. Needed to be. And how he was missed in that final third of last season for Arsenal. Foul <laughs> by Bernardo Silva. And you hear the Arsenal fans again saying, where's the yellow card? Well, it's ridiculous. Just because he's booked an Arsenal player doesn't mean to say every time there's a challenge by a Man City one, he's got to book Silva. Arteta has to realise he got away with one early on when Odegaard should have been booked. They're going to have to see very quickly how they are going to cope with the challenge of making sure the players are more disciplined, the managers are more disciplined, starting today. Also clamping down on time-wasting. We saw in the EFL yesterday lots of stoppage time at the ends of both halves to cut out all the time-wasting which has led to the ball not being in play for long enough in too many games. Stones to Walker. Rodri. Kovacic to Stones again. Rodri. Freelish. Well, they really need someone to step up into the uh, De Bruyne role because he's not available. And they need to find these killer passes, which have so far eluded City in this first half. It's a foul by Haaland. And 
the one player for City that hasn't really got going so far. Harlan. Two or three balls that have been played into it. Lost control. There's an alert when Sleeve just stepped in front of it. Here's Declan Rice, Arsenal's record signing. possession here, much welcome by their supporters, and could they be in here, Arsenal, a chance maybe for Havertz, and Martinelli, a really good block, and a good save as well, clearest opportunities of the Shield so far, and it's good play from Ben White, takes his touch inside of Kanji, finds Havertz, it's a good save, the first one, Oh, what does it hit John Stones? Ben White, good charge forward. Just have a look here. It certainly hits him on his chest. First bit of real penetrative play from either side. It's Arsenal had hardly any of the ball. That create the first chance, a double chance. Yep, Stones wisely had his hands behind his back. Very good block from Martinelli's follow-up. Havertz who forced the save from Ortega's foot. Here's White, who fashioned that opportunity for the Gunners. That's a foul on Stones. Yellow card coming out. Arsenal fans fume again as Havertz is booked. And it's a cynical foul. It's a yellow card. Absolutely right from the referee. Absolutely right. Havertz made no attempt to play the ball. He knew exactly what he was doing. Walker. Three yellow cards in this first half, all for Arsenal. of uh, Portugal, out to Akanji, Kovacic. That was very nicely away by Gabriel for Arsenal, needed to be as well. Timber. Now Saliba. Odegaard. Partey. Saka took it nicely in his stride. Brings Timber into the attack. Rice. Partey. Odegaard. of that slick passing move has ended rather rapidly in the end and that giveaway will allow City to have the throw Martinelli just making his way back to the left wing position he's got so much pace it's such a good season last year Martinelli he's going to have to play well Arsenal have got a very good replacement for him in Trossard. 
Yeah, joint top scorer last season with 15, all of them in the Premier League. Starting his fifth full season at Arsenal since joining for just £6 million in 2019. Kovacic. Straight through the middle by Ortega. Bernardo Silva hoping it would run through. Back it goes by Rice. Awkward for Ramsdale. The ball is getting closer and closer to his goal line all the time. There's another foul, another free kick to Arsenal. Oh, took a chance here, Ramsdale. It's a poor first touch. His composure, though. Not quite sure why Harlan didn't have a slide there. Maybe he could have got a block on that. Missed an opportunity, I would say, there, all in Haaland. Manchester City's Player of the Year, Haaland, and the Football Writers' Footballer of the Year. Not surprising, after scoring 52 goals in 53 appearances. Now, yellow card is coming out for a Manchester City player, Julian Alvarez. You can hear the ironic cheers from the Arsenal end. For that, kicking the ball away. That's why he's got a yellow card, not for the tackle. Or the ball being out of play, should I say. City booking for Alvarez. Disappointing first touch there from Saka. Rodri seized upon by Rice. And Ortega cannot prevent that going behind for a corner. Oh, Rodri is complaining. It was a foul by Rice, but as the ball was played in to Rodri, he was a bit complacent. Rice got tight to him. Good play by the new signing of Arsenal. Arsenal were very threatening from set plays last season. Gabriel, Saliba, Havertz is good in the air as he showed at Chelsea. Well, this is Arsenal's first corner of the game. Oh, City have got it away, no problem. Goes by Saliba. Well watch there by Walker. There we go. Whites. Tartan. Oh, they got again. Timba. Martinelli. Rice. It's Martinelli once more. Heads for the byline this time. And sliced behind for another Arsenal corner by Stones. 
Good play, Martinelli. Found himself in a 1v1. He swept it into his path, he's got good pace. Not just over a longer distance, but over the first five yards as well. behind not what he had in mind well, Arsenal ready to pounce again here Ortega not bothered at all, just rolls it to his left, and here's Diaz. And he's failed to find the Kanji. This will give Arsenal encouragement to keep pressing. Ten minutes left in this first half. And for all City's possession, Arsenal have been the more threatening of the two sides. There goes Saka, beautifully found. And Saka goes for it. Yeah, playing right on that offside line as the ball's played in behind Akanji. Certainly feel he's got the beating with the Man City left back. He was always stretching for that. He wasn't in complete control. Watch how far the ball gets away from him here. He's just stretching. Saka, another one who scored 15 goals for Arsenal last season, 11 Premier League assists as well. A bit of pressure here on the City goalkeeper, a lot of pressure. And again, further encouragement for Arsenal to keep doing that. Well, for all the players that Man City have got back and Arsenal are pressing, they're still keeping a front four, almost. At times, they've got to go into that front four, and that's where Haaland has to be a lot better. Interesting speaking to one of his old teammates at Dortmund, Emine Jan, a couple of weeks ago. Almost whether he knew that Ryan was going to be a top-class player when he arrived, he said no. He said because he was terrible in training, he was lazy in training, but he soon saw that he was a very good goal scorer. And he saw many times last season when he was uh, not involved in the game at all, he'd still end up with a hat-trick. Yes. Greenish run into trouble there. A lot of trouble. Saka. White, Odegaard. Arsenal oh, certainly sensing they can get a lot of joy down that right side. That's where the danger's come from so far. Gabriel. Timber to Rice. Saliba. Saka. Grealish helping out Akanji there against Saka. Might have to do a bit more of that. Martinelli. Out of guard. Saka. Partey. Timber. Martinelli. Arsenal 
Arsenal probing in the, the same way that City were earlier. Havertz breaks to Martinelli. Death touch that was. Rice. Pulled by White to Saka. Odegaard, White. Now try again. Gabriel. Odegaard. Great ball, Saka. Havertz! Brilliant stop from Ortega. Clearest chance of the game. And at the other end, Haaland against Saliba. Support finally arriving. As you said earlier, Arsenal looking the more dangerous when they do get it into the top third of the field. Ortega had to make another decent save there. Havertz probably should have done better. Bernardo Silva. Straight forward by Kovacic, Rodri. No foul there. And Arsenal look to break with Julian Timber. On it goes to Havertz. Two big chances he's had in this first half. On his competitive debut for Arsenal. In amongst all that, there was a lovely ball played through to Saka. Just getting in behind the Kanji again. He's always the threat, this man on the ball. Of course, he's just as happy coming back on his left foot, isn't he? That's the problem that Kanji's got. And many fullbacks have against Saka. Partey. Real. Timber. What a run from uh, Bernardo Silva, quite beautifully there, didn't he? That's the uh, ripple of applause you're hearing. And Timber gave chase, but it bounces through to Ortega. Good decision by Ortega. See, so many goalkeepers make poor decisions and come out their box to try and deal with it. Just waited and waited. An easy take for him in the end. Again, a good ball play from the back. You saw the run of Timber trying to break the offside line. Certainly more of a threat about Arsenal at the moment. Bernardo Silva. Away from Martinelli. Not from Timber, but he's managed to wriggle away again. Walker. Ortega, who played every game in that FA Cup run for City last season. Played three times in the Premier League as well. Oh, Rodri is trying to catch Ramsdale off his line. An audacious effort. A very good effort as well. Ramsdale on the edge of his box. Fortunately, he was concentrated. Just, just a bit too high. From Rodri, but a good effort. Here's the chance again. Lovely ball played down the side. Havertz with his right foot. I wonder if Diaz gets a slight block on it, which makes it easier for the goalkeeper. Ninety seconds left of normal time. We are expecting only three minutes of stoppage time in this first half. 
first half in which Aaron Ramsdale has had very, very little to do. Martinelli under pressure. This is dangerous. Alvarez with the ball across. Haaland was lurking on that far post. Stones. Walker. Yes, Grealish. Diaz again he has a heavy touch, which allowed Saliba to make the challenge and get it away. Rodri, Bernardo Silva to Kyle Walker. sums things up a little bit for City in this first half, lots of good possession, very little in the way of cutting edge. And Martinelli got caught on the ball here. Alvarez goes past him, gets himself into the box and plays what looks a really dangerous ball. Saliba in the right position, Marlon trying to get round the back of him. It's been a very interesting first half because City dominated the early stages in terms of possession without creating anything. Arsenal couldn't get hold of the ball when they did, they gave it away cheaply. And as the game has worn on, and Arsenal have won it back and have got into the top third of the field, they look the more threatening, particularly through Saka out on that right-hand side. Saliba. Gabriel. Up and away by Akanji. No, Manchester City only five days away from their first Premier League game of the season. Away to a familiar foe, Vincent Company, their former captain, manager of Burnley. Arsenal's first game is in six days' time against Nottingham Forest. Here's Havertz. Scooped forward by White. Walker. Rodri. Stones. That's nicely done by Kovacic. And there's no way through. Got to say, he's had a very good first half, Kovacic. I'd say he's been Man City's most influential player. He's got on the ball, he's delivered one or two excellent passes, he's tried to run with it. Really good start in his new club, Kovacic. One-time player of the year at Chelsea, 2020, Kovacic. Now, of all the changes that Chelsea have made over the summer, I'm not sure that's one of their better decisions. Struggling in midfield at the moment, Kovacic was an excellent servant for them. Still a brilliant player. Well, the first half destined to be a stalemate. Arsenal will be frustrated about that because they had several clear opportunities. Kai Havertz with two of them twice denied by City's German goalkeeper, Stefan Ortega. Alvarez at the other end has certainly had his moments. Haaland not yet got into the game at all. And it's Arsenal who've been the bigger threat. Half-time at Wembley. Arsenal nil, Manchester City nil.
very much on the periphery of the game in that first half but as we said that's not unusual so it's Manchester City who get the ball rolling in the second half no changes at the break the coaches can make up to six changes in the community shield which has its own little quirks Arsenal get the first throw. And attacking the end behind which their supporters are housed in this second half. Six times they've lifted the community shield since 2000. I'm not sure how happy Timber will be playing at left back. I saw him play in Eredivisie when he was playing for the Dutch national team. He always played on the right-hand side of a, a back three, or right-sided centre-half, occasionally at right-back, but I never saw him play at left-back. Lifelong uh, Arsenal fan, Tim Bat, said him and his family are all going to support us. He was uh, monumentally thrilled to be the subject of interest from Arsenal. This is Gabriel to Timber. It was a very fast start from City in the first half. And Arsenal really took charge. Back cutter there by Akanji. The big saves there in the first half from Ortega to deny Havertz. Yeah, saves he probably should have made. Finishes weren't quite good enough from Havertz. I thought played well after that first 20 minutes when he hardly touched the ball. Led the line. Well, bringing balls down on his chest, winning a couple of headers, linking up the play. Now Rodri. Akanji. Grealish on this near side. Another one we didn't see too much of in that first half. Rodri. Yes. It goes by the skipper, Walker. City so prolific last season, 151 goals they scored in all competitions, the most in Europe's top five leagues by some distance but rarely threatened in that first half. Pate is seeking out Saka here. Rodri for Manchester City. Walker making the run down that right side and he's been really well found by Rodri. Stones, Rodri again, Kovacic, Grealish, pass White, Saliba's header away, Saka, very calmly done, Odegaard, beautifully done from him, Havertz, Ruben 
Diaz. Painful one there, referee stopped the game. Yeah, I think he took a whack. Well, he was winning the ball back off of Havertz. Another well, guy with that great bit of skill you were talking about. Kovacic is lucky, he didn't make contact, that would have been a yellow card. Yeah, there's no fault from Havertz. Good challenge by Diaz, who was recovering. Havertz scored twice on his last visit to Wembley. It was in the UEFA Nations League for Germany. 3-3 draw with England last September. Could easily have scored twice here. Rodri. Kovacic finding uh, Alvarez. Bernardo Silva. Walker. And you can see Haaland near the penalty spot. His eyes lit up there, but the cross never reached it. And it was a good bit of movement from Haaland in the box, as you would expect. The Arsenal players were going back towards their own goal. And he just held his ground. Walker just couldn't quite find him. So the first corner of the second half goes the way of the Premier League champions. And it's a really good save from Ramsdale. They were straight at him, but he managed to get it away from danger. Well, it's a good delivery. Who gets the header in? It's John Stones that gets the header in. Straight out. Ramsdale, you expect him to save that. Stones with a free, well, not free header, but one that he could easily get his head to. Poor marking by Partey. And Stones' last goal was at home to Arsenal in April. 4 1 victory. Odegaard in need of some treatment here. Erling Haaland's international captain, of course, for Norway. This just gives Mikel Arteta and Pep Guardiola an opportunity to have a little impromptu team talk seven minutes into the second half. One-time colleagues, of course. Arteta was Guardiola's assistant in December 2019 to take the only job he said he would leave for Arsenal. Arteta now is the Arsenal captain when the Gunners beat City 3-0 in the 2014 Community Shield. Years, the one time you can catch Manchester City out is early on in the season. They're not quite in their rhythm, their groove. Because once they do get in their groove, all oh, bets are off. They're almost impossible to play against, as we saw at the end of last season. Well, I think Vincent Company will be watching with interest ahead of. Friday's match at Turf Moor. Kovacic. Rodri, Odegaard wants to come on. He has yet to be waved on. Yeah, he's waved on now. Grealish. Akanji. Odegaard was never going to catch him, having just been waved back onto the pitch. Yeah, the whole reason he wasn't waved on is because he was quite near the play. Hopefully he has to wait until the ball's a long way away from the area. Go. 
this by Ben White. as you just mentioned by Haaland, he's got to do better. Here's Rice. Linking up with Martinelli. Oh, Timber. Saliba. Tall, is he out on this left hand side? A much better season last year than the previous one, but I wouldn't say he's really shown the form that we saw at Aston Villa when he was playing at his very best. And he was really dynamic running at people. Yeah, five goals in 50 appearances last season, British. One of those was against Arsenal with the Emirates. Timber to try and find Martinelli down the line. So Grealish sees his number is up. And Phil Foden will be coming on. Young man who uh, netted 15 times last season, plus seven assists as well. That included his first senior hat trick in the derby against Manchester United last October. Much loved among the City faithful. Straight swap. White's head. Stance. Saka there. And you certainly sense that the Arsenal fans feel that way. Yeah, Ruben Diaz with the challenge here. <laughs> well, there's hardly very much wrong with this. He actually plays the ball here. And it just ends up. He stands on the toe uh, again I'm not sure that was a particularly bad challenge it's just an unfortunate accident but it does give Arsenal the free kick it looks threatening from this type of situation Needs a good delivery here from Martinelli. And so he put it out to the edge of the box. There's a lot of space to hit this ball into. Arsenal will come back on the side and then try and make their forward runs. Here they come. In it goes by Martinelli. That's no problem at all for City. Oh, 
We tip towards the hour mark here at Wembley. Very, very few chances since the restart. Saliba, Erdogan. by Stones. Harlot. Oh, oh, it's very frenetic. Kovacic trying to calm it down. First contribution here for Foden. Kovacic. And it came off Saliba. Here's an opportunity for White. Makanji in that left back position. Defending well again. Odegaard trying to orchestrate the Gunners' supporters. Manchester City poised to make a double change. The City fans will be delighted to see Kevin De Bruyne coming on, he's one of them. Cole Palmer, the other one, poised to enter the action. We're here and it's Kovacic and Harlan, the players coming up. Kovacic has been excellent, Harlan looks quite so good. For the Wembley goal for Harlan will go on unless he can now go in the next few seconds. Here's Saka for Arsenal. Rice. Beautifully weighted ball for Martinelli. And the eventual shot from Rice is well over. <laughs> Huge influence for the England under 21 side when they won the European under 21 championship this summer. And a goal and two assists. Off goes Kovacic. His debut comes to an end, and De Bruyne is on as he continues his recovery from that hamstring injury. And as he looks to build up to full fitness, remember 10 goals and 28 assists from De Bruyne last season and he's uh, taking on his favourite opponents here eight goals he scored against them and well, what's the decision? it's a corner by the looks of it yeah Rodri the player that was going to make the challenge here against Timba didn't let me see who actually won the ball there
area of pitch still bathed in sunshine getting smaller and smaller Martinelli is in it as he prepares to take this corner Havertz leaps on the near post it'll be another one the pressure from the gunners here side netting. I've seen one or two erratic deliveries here <laughs> from corners. Well, this is going to be interesting. Two Arsenal players stood in the way of Ortega taking it, Gabriel being one of them, but both players go down. I don't think the referee needs to take any action. He's having a word with Diaz. You saw uh, the shot of the referee there. He did book Gabriel for that incident. No way through. Well, it's the crowd like that. Declan Rice coming back and pitching the ball up. Leonardo Silva. That's what he's so good at doing. He's a good athlete, Declan Rice. Started off as a centre back, went into centre midfield. Could do both sides of the game now. He's never going to be the greatest goal scorer, but he'll certainly create chances with his long range passing. He's just a dominant player. The German habits. Only Saka in the middle, though. Saliba. The White. Oh, that's beautifully done. But a swing and a miss in the middle. Saka, the player that was closest to it. Then White got him forward. Saka had gone infield. Still puts the Arsenal the side that. Could break the deadlock here, they've been the more threatening. Midway through the second half. Arsenal still the dominant force in the community shield, but no goals. And of course, there must be a winner. If it is level after 90 minutes, it goes straight to a penalty shooter. Still took penalties. I he wanted the players to have a penalty shootout. Arsenal lost that as well. Saliba with the clearing header, collected by Foden. There is De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. Rodri. Walker. Palmer. Bernardo Silva pursued there by Hedegaard Stones to Walker No changes yet made by Mikel Arteta perhaps tells you how he's feeling about this performance for Manchester City. He's rolled that into Foden. Beautifully done. Palmer! The black to over. That's the best we've seen from City in the second half. 
No surprise as soon as Kevin De Bruyne comes on. You get more penetrative passes. Ends up with Palmer comes off and near Timber. I'm not sure that was going to trouble Ramsdale. It looked to be straight at him. It was a really incisive pass. The first one from Kevin De Bruyne. To Bernardo Silva. Well shot on target. City trying to make something happen from the set play. They get another corner. Timber puts it behind. And 20 minutes to go at Wembley. Zonal marking from Arsenal. Foden. Straight onto the chest of uh, White there. And Martinelli scoops it downfield. And it's Bernardo Silva. Playing in a different role now. Palmer playing wide on the right-hand side. And it breaks down for City, and here goes Kai Havertz. Read that really, really well, John Stones. Rodri. See top middle of your picture there, Leandro Trossard ready to come on for the Gunners. He's certainly going to put pressure on Martinelli in that left wing position. Trossard came from Brighton last year at the good end of the season. Scored a couple of goals against Barcelona and a game played in. Los Angeles, Los Angeles, the home of the LA Rams. And Stan Kroenke is the owner, the owner of Arsenal as well. Netted in the Premier League last season as well in the draw with Brentford in February. Now space down that right side for Kyle Walker. And that'll be another corner. Just looking at Pep Guardiola over on the far side. It's about three times that Carl Walker's got into a great position and then the cross hasn't been good enough. He's hit the first player. And not delivered the right cutback. Uh, throws his arms up in the air, turns away in disgust. Kevin De Bruyne from the corner. Arsenal get it away, look to break. Saka. That's a giveaway. Alvarez to uh, Palmer on this left side. And Gabriel for Arsenal. Sloppy. Arsenal giving it away. City coming forward with purpose here. De Bruyne. Relief for the Gunners. Almost a very good ball by Kevin De Bruyne. And the players will be looking square. He's looking to play the most incisive pass. It's a bit too much on it. Alvarez was trying to get in there. So Martinelli off. Trossard on for the Gunners. 
Cross side a scorer against Manchester City last season for Brighton. On comes the tricky Belgian. And we're going to see Kieran Tierney as well here. Timbers debut comes to an end. All motivation for him as he makes his way off. And that's the Scott Tierney. Here's the obvious replacement at left back. There's been a lot of talk about Tierney moving on. Must be slightly worrying for him that now Zinchenko fit tonight, today. Still doesn't get in the side at left back. Tinder a right back, a right sided centre half playing in that position. They made a really fast start last season, Arsenal. They've certainly got the potential to do the same again. Forest home, Palace away, Fulham home. The first three games. And will they do that on the back of winning some silverware here? That's a fabulous turn by Foden. Benefit City ultimately. There's the chance! Oh, it's a fabulous goal! Cole Palmer! What a beautiful strike! And Manchester City are surging to the lead of Wembley. Well, this all comes about because of the turn by Phil Foden in midfield. Those two players, Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden, have just given Man City a better attacking edge. Here's the turn. Gets away from the press, and now the game's all opened up. He doesn't find quite the right pass. See Declan Rice coming across, almost gets a block. Tierney doesn't do quite what he was supposed to do, and then Cole Palmer with a lovely finish. How many times did we see the likes of Riyad Mahrez do that? He's no longer at the club, but Cole Palmer, left-footed on the right-hand side, bends it round Gabriel. And Ramsdale just can't get a big enough jump in. A wonderful moment for the youngster. Well, he scored just one goal in the whole of last season. Cole Palmer was in the FA Cup quarter-final in March against Burnley. He's notched his first goal in the very first match of this season. And it's a beauty. A young man who joined City at under eight level and has worked his way through. And that is his fifth goal for the Manchester City first team. An absolute beauty. Will that be enough? to secure the FA Community Shield, or do Arsenal have a response? Well, Arsenal have got every chance of getting back into the game. They've got some creative players out there, they have looked threatening when they've got the top, into the top third of the field. There's the Bruno. Foden. Quite clearly, those substitutions for Manchester City have made all the difference. Take nothing away from Kovacic, though, the player that Kevin De Bruyne replaced, because well, Kovacic was Man City's best player going forward in the first half. Beautifully done again by Palmer. Just a little too much to do in the end. Gabriel.
space. And they just got the bit between their collective teeth here, Manchester City. Left of your picture, Eddie and Ketia coming on to replace Declan Rice here, bringing on forward. And that's a big ovation from the Arsenal fans for their record signing. On comes Nketiah, he started in the Emirates Cup victory over Monaco on Wednesday. Nine goals last season. Here's the goal. From the other angle, it's a fantastic finish. Terrific finish. It opened up very nicely for him. And that's what it means to those Man City fans that have made that big trek down to Wembley again. Like that wonderful summer with the England and the 21 side in Georgia, lifting the trophy so memorably. First time England have won that trophy since 1984. They didn't concede a goal in the entire tournament. That's a foul by Bernardo Silva. Arsenal want to get on with it, understandably. Odegaard, White. Stones brings it away with Odegaard collects. And can he get the through ball right here? Nearly. If anyone could for Arsenal, he could. And it's come off White and it falls for Alvarez. Bearing down on goal for Manchester City. Foden! Settling the contest, they've got a deflection for a corner. Well, White makes a bit of a mess of it here. Alvarez does well. He looks like he's going to surge into the box. Foden was onside. First touch is good, and I know Ramsdale's going the wrong way here. That's almost goes between his legs, hits him on the foot. Very unlucky for Phil Foden. It goes down as a good save. Through on Ramsdale. Off the instep, and behind for a corner. The corner takes. Oh, another good save! Oh, Rodri on the near post. Sneaked into that position. Completely unseen. Another good delivery from Kevin De Bruyne. a lot of talk about Raya coming from Brentford to Arsenal but Ramsdale's had a very good game so far two or three good saves didn't have too much to do in the first half but a guy Need a bit of inspiration here Arsenal and then Ketia coming on up front it does mean that Havertz has gone into a Midfield role now, the role he's been playing in pre season. Down goes Saka, who play on with Havertz. Down the line by Tierney to Trossard. Manchester City looking for a ninth consecutive win over Arsenal. The Gunners trying to fashion a new prize to stop that from happening. Guardiola's record against Arsenal as City manager won 16 out of 19. Remember last year, Arsenal were the king of comebacks almost. Games that looked lost or they couldn't quite win. Some great finishes, particularly at the Emirates. Yeah, the memorable one uh, against Bournemouth, wasn't it? 
3-2. Foden. De Bruyne. Is he getting back to full fitness at just the right time? Here's that ball into the box. Really good header, you have to say. A decent save. He's anticipating the ball going a bit further out. It's a good recovery from Ramsdale. We're into the final five here at Wembley. Rodri. Just a throw to Arsenal. <laughs> well, he'll be enjoying it, that's for sure. Like some of it. Living City legend, and he certainly have enjoyed that goal from Cole Palmer. A brilliant player, Mike Somerby for Manchester City many years ago. Seventies. Here's De Bruyne. Blocked effectively by Gabriel. Double change coming on for Arsenal. Gabriel Smith Rowe and Fabio Vieira. The two players coming on. Gabriel and Kai Havertz, the two players. Making way. Havertz left to reflect on those two big chances in the first half. Fabio Vieira, the Portugal attacking midfielder, signed from Porto a year ago. Started on Wednesday against Monaco. What a great goal in one of the pre season games. They could do with something here. Smith throw another one who, uh, like Cole Palmer, won the World Run the 21 Championships over the summer. Alvarez and Palmer both battling for it over there. Chessa unhappy with Palmer kicking the ball. Against him. Well, a few minutes away from yet another piece of silverware. Guardiola, seven years since he succeeded Manuel Pellegrini. He's since won 14 trophies, two of them community shields. Is this going to be another one? Ramsdale's given it away. De Bruyne just dispossessed by Partey. That's when I think Ramsdale can be slightly erratic. He has to make big decisions on the ball. I'm still in a bit of a mix up there there's a foul it should be a yellow card Robbery. cynical as we saw by one or two of the Arsenal players in the first half he's not going to give him a yellow card it should be no question about that I think the Arsenal fans would say there's been a few of those
And it's all about how much stoppage time there will be at the end of this game. And we believe when the number goes up, it's going to be the number eight. So plenty of time. Well, that seems slightly ridiculous to me. I think we're going to get used to that as the season unfolds. There it is. Oh, bloody hell, I can't believe it. Eight minutes. He haven't had too many stoppages, I don't think. Probably had, obviously had substitutions. Well, we did wonder if we were going to get these large numbers after the World Cup. Didn't really materialise, but we're certainly going to get them this season. Long from Ramsdale. Stones with the header away. Now I can understand if the team's time wasting. There's been a lot of time wasting throughout the second half. I haven't seen any time wasting in the game so far. Both sides have been looking to get on with it. Strange decision by the referee. Man, Katia trying to make something happen here for the Gunners. Odegaard. Here comes Tierney. Now Leandro Trossard. Smith Rowe. Wide by Partey to Tierney. Saliba. Saka. White. Switched by Vieira. Arce coming forward, continue to get the cross right here. All the way through to Vieira. Lifted up teasingly and tantalisingly to the far post. City scrambling away, there's been a clash of heads. Walker down for Man City. Canter, that's down for Arsenal. So no fault by either player. All played into a good area. Both players jumping for a very important challenge in the box. separating the two teams and what a good finish it was he's always going to come in on that left foot Tierney just lost his balance Gabriel can't get close enough and the result was a brilliant finish look how he uses the Arsenal centre-half to bend the ball round he's not right in the corner I don't think there's too much that Ramsdale could have done there he thought he'd scored a, a goal not dissimilar to that in the under-21 final it actually took a little nick off Curtis Jones, who was able to claim the goal. So it was taken off him. No one's taking that one off him. Fabulous finish. Guardiola enjoyed it very much. What happened to managers wearing suits at Wembley? <laughs> well... Treatment continuing here, and this will simply extend the second half even further. And he's explaining, or asking for an explanation why they've got eight added on minutes. Well, I think the managers knew this was coming, this has been explained to them. All of these uh, little changes have been explained over the last few weeks. It's half friendly, this conversation. Maybe uh, getting a bit niggly. Both players must have bad cuts here.
both being patched up for the remainder of stoppage time. Remember, Arsenal have lost just two of the last 15 games here at Wembley. And there's someone who knows the old Wembley very well, Sir Jeff Hurst. Scorer of a hat-trick in the World Cup final, of course, all those years ago. Can't do much more than that, can you, really? Not really. in the World Cup final to win it on home soil as well brilliant achievement right we're good to go again and we believe that we should have a minimum of six minutes from when play resumes so this is going to go past the 100 minute mark Both players, of course, have to leave the field to come back on, which is crazy when it's been an obvious head injury. That was brought in to stop time-wasting. Odegaard. Now White. Certainly still time enough here for the Gunners to haul themselves level. Force penalties. Eddie and Ketia. No foul. Swept away by Stones. Vieira. Odegaard. Trying to squeeze that through to Trossard. The urgency that Arsenal are showing here shows how much both sides want to win this community shield. I saw the reaction of Pep Guardiola when the goal went in. Yep, he referred to it as a final. We get another piece of silverware for 2023. Always oh, gone that way in the community shield. Certainly hasn't the last couple of years, I'll tell you that. Another change for this season is that uh, the scoreboard does continue to tick on in the stadium so the fans can see how much stoppage time is being played. It's always stopped on 90 until this season. And the City fans have started whistling, but they must surely realise we have a lengthy stoppage. Smith Rowe. Trosser. Partey. He's rolling into Saka. Piera force wide. As a result, the cross was disappointing from an Arsenal perspective. And a great play from Kevin De Bruyne. Sprinted about 50 yards there just to put Saliba under a bit of pressure. And he's committed a foul. Oh. Referee has another look at his watch. We're in the 100th minute of the Community Shield. Partey, Erdegaard, Smith Rowe. On it goes for White. Behind it goes by Foden for a corner. And a 
it should have been a little bit more what took too long to get the cross in there and the big players from Arsenal get ahead on this oh Gabriel now he's off the field Saliba White Partey's in there no habits Well, this could be the last chance for Arsenal. Corner from Saka. And another chance, perhaps, to put it in here. Leaves it instead for Trossard. Deflected it in! There's the equaliser for Arsenal! In the 101st minute of the Community Shield! Akanji, who deflected it past his own goalkeeper, and you see the reaction of Arteta. Well, maybe one last chance for Manchester City. Oh. Getting De Bruyne, he's going to whip this in. He goes forward, perhaps hoping to make amends at the other end. And it goes by the boy, it's a great ball! But no one can get a telling touch. And we're still playing here. Could there be a winner for Arsenal? Trosser. If you are looking at that clock, no, we're not playing extra time. This is stoppage time. Helped on by Odegaard. But instead, there is full time. It's all square in the community shield. And it will be decided via a penalty shootout. Arsenal left in late. But the deflected strike from Trossard off Manuel Akanji was enough to secure a draw for the Gunners after Cole Palmer's beauty had given Manchester City the advantage in the 76th minute of the game and after all that it'll be decided from 12 yards via a penalty shootout full time at Wembley Stadium Arsenal won Manchester City won. Fifteen goals for Arsenal last season. For the Norwegian international captain. And the Arsenal captain. Here we go then, first up, Martin Odegaard. Can the Arsenal captain get the Gunners off to the perfect step? No problem. And he runs around it, he just passes it into the corner. Ortega going the wrong way, nice start for Arsenal. Relief for Odegaard, never thought he was going to miss. Kevin De Bruyne as he steps forward for Manchester City. Never will impact when he came on. 
for Belgium. The Greiner against Ramsdale. Oh, he smashed the flag with a goal. Advantage Arsenal. Well, he just got underneath it. Ramsdale clapping his hands, goes the wrong way, but as he looks back here, he just sees it hit the crossbar. Well, it's only half of balls with the way, but enough. Next up, Leandro Trossard, another Belgian. Will he have better fortune? Ortega is now going to make a save. A chance for Trossard to make it 2-0 to Arsenal in the shooter. A chance he takes. Silva needed Man City, and the club's interested in him. And just like Erdegaard and Trossard. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and just tosses it in the corner. Now here's a man that's certainly missed a few penalties or missed a couple of important ones. Missed in a pre-season game against Manchester United. Missed his last one against West Ham in April, Saka. this rolls it in beautifully to make it 3-1 to Arsenal but at the moment two goalkeepers have the wrong way on every one he's on the right way it's not a particularly good strike from Saka but good enough now Watry can ever afford to miss given the state of play. Somehow, we'll get that goal later on. Many times. 
times last season. And Vieira. What a good penalty that is. No chance whatsoever for Ortega. Well, the celebrations begin away to our right hand side. To our left, the city supporters start to drift away. They can't complain, it's been quite a year for Manchester City with the treble, but they won't be lifting that fourth piece of silverware in 2023. It's Arsenal who have secured the 2023 FA Community Shield. Three times they face Manchester City in the Shield. Three times they've won. They win this one. Getting things ready for the presentation. It was hard fought, wasn't it? For a long time it looked like Manchester City were going to secure a 1-0 victory, but once again Arsenal just never gave in. And somehow they've found a way to equalise via a huge deflection off Akanji in stoppage time. And then perfection from the penalty spot. Four superb penalties from Odegaard, Trossard, Saka and Vieira. And that was enough to secure victory here today. All smiles there. Mikel Arteta who has so often been on the losing side against his great friend Pep Guardiola. So he first met when he was just 15. He's been such an influence on him, both as a person and a coach. But today, he is the winner. And it's just what you need, isn't it, Stuart? Going into... Those games I mentioned earlier, Forest at home, Palace away, Fulham at home, they'll go into those games on such a high now. Absolutely. I think it's been a good pre-season for Arsenal, they've got belief, they've strengthened the squad. I don't think Declan Rice was at his best today, but he's going to get better. Havertz had to lead the line with Jesus being injured. I think he's going to play more in midfield than anywhere else over the course of the season. Timber did an okay job at left back. But Arsenal believe they can really challenge Manchester City this season. And I think you have to believe them as well. They've got a good spirit, they've got great belief, they've got some very good players. And a crowd that are right behind them at the moment. couple of player interviews taking place on the pitch ahead of the players going up to collect the shield. Four wins out of six in pre-season for Arsenal. They've been pretty impressive. Can they go one better from last season? Remember, top of the Premier League for 248 days last campaign. A new English record for a side not winning the league. It was just too much for them in the end. They've bolstered the squad. Will it be enough? That remains to be seen today, and they can enjoy and savour this victory over the champions. And as you said, it's a good start to the season for them. Fixtures that they would expect to win. They had a great start last year, didn't they? Right from the first game of the season, they really found their form. Something been Man City's Achilles heel, that early season form. Oh, they've really got into a rhythm. 
when your season goes right into June, as theirs did with the Champions League final. I think it's inevitable they're going to be a little bit behind some of the other sides at the start of the season. They begin Burnley away on Friday, then they travel to Greece for the UEFA Super Cup against Sevilla on the 16th. And it's a very quick turnaround before they play Newcastle at home on the 19th and then travel to Bramall Lane to play Sheffield United on the 27th. So it's a busy first month for Manchester City. And of course, in September, both these clubs will have European football to think about on top of everything else. It's all getting underway again and we can't wait. So the officials collecting their medals, <laughs> not perhaps the response they wanted from the Arsenal supporters. And now the City players trudge up the steps to collect their losers' medals. Well, it's become a disappointing feature of cup finals, community shield finals, that one half of the stadium is almost completely empty, the other half is full. Yeah, a lot of the City fans have uh, decided to join the queue for the London Underground at Wembley Park. Well, they've had plenty of good days here and they'll have plenty more. these guys have got I don't think this one will take pride of place but it's another one to add to the collection just a little bit worried by Harlan's performance today I was watching his movement didn't make enough runs didn't threaten the back of Arsenal enough when the ball did come into his feet he gave it away more than he kept it Certainly a worry for Pep Guardiola. Certainly given him food for thought, that's for sure. He really wants De Bruyne and Haaland on the field at the same time, of course. A combination that was so devastatingly effective last season. Plenty more of those in the coming season. I don't think he's going to lose his place 
place. Season made a mistake, a big mistake against Manchester United. Could have done better with a, another goal that went in as well. And the substitute keeper today, Matt Turner, is rumoured to be on his way, isn't he? And David Raya incoming. That's for another day. For now, the smiles tell the story. steps on the winning side. I think Arteta will be pleased with everything that Arsenal did today, but he'll be pleased with their spirit. They defended well enough for long periods, although Man City had a lot of ball in the first half. They never really threatened with it. Arsenal stayed compact. The two centre halves dealt with Haaland. Nick Arteta leads the way. Accepts the medal from Gilberto Silva. Great start for Arsenal's new record signing, Declan Rice. Look at the way for Europa Conference League trophy in his last appearance for West Ham. His first appearance for Arsenal, more silverware. Arteta stands to one side to leave it to the players. The shield that Arteta himself lifted with Arsenal nine years ago when they beat City in that community shield emphatically last in the queue Martin Adegaard got Arsenal on the way so impressively in that penalty shootout. I think you sense, like we could sense all around the ground, that once Arsenal got that equaliser, that they were favourites to win the penalty shootout. Just the way the players, the body language, and City were so disappointed. Arsenal were on the high, the penalties were up, Arsenal's end as well. It's the first silverware of the new season. Congratulations to the Gunners. Will there be more silverware to come this season? For now, they can enjoy this. They lift the FA Community Shield.
to a flow. It was a really good, entertaining game. Havertz on the spin with the shot. And hooked away from the follow-up. Couple of chances here, Martinelli, but blocked away by Stones. City had started for Brighton, but Arsenal soon took over. This was Bukayo Saka to cut inside and not able to fully wrap his left foot around that. So it was good, positive intent from Arsenal. Was this that was comfortably the best chance of the first half? Saka stealing in, Havertz with the strike. And moments like that, when you realise it's not really an out and out centre forward. Still should have finished it though. This was lovely from uh, Rodri, actually the villain of the piece, of course, but little look up here. Saw Ramsdale off his line and tried to capitalise, had him back pedalling furiously. Things have to be so aware. Into the second half there, and Stones with the header that was palmed away by Ramsdale. Well to climb and Get his forehead onto that. Nice ebb and flow about the game now. City the aggressors at the beginning of the second half. De Bruyne's introduction made a difference. Foden then picked out Cole Palmer, deflected over. But he would have his moment. Stuart Robson making the point about that spin from Bill Foden away from Partey. And not at all by De Bruyne. To Paul Palmer to take the nervous touch. And Carl in hole. What a moment for him at Wembley. Just a shame for him that ultimately it doesn't win them. The Community Shield. Away from Ramsdale. Just grabbing at thin air. And City did have their moments, did have their opportunities to seal it.
55% possession. The city's final total somewhat down on the first half. To win the end, Arsenal do it again. And Wembley, they needed a touch of late luck, but they got it on their general performance. They probably deserve it.